what Pontiac car charmed the ladies and revolutionised the automotive industry. Pontiac's second generation Firebird was launched in 1970 and came in four trim levels. The base model, the performance orientated formula, the high performance Trans Am and the luxury equipped Esprit. While the Firebird was often seen as the epitome of a masculine car, Pontiac realised by the mid-1970s that nearly one-third of Firebird buyers were women. Many of these buyers were attracted to the car's stylish appearance rather than the full performance of the Trans Am. The Esprit, in particular, became a favourite amongst female buyers, prompting Pontiac to further enhance its trim level. So what exactly is an Esprit? The Esprit was produced from 1970 to 1980 and was the luxury version of the Firebird, similar to the Camaro Type LT or the later Berlinetta. The Esprit came equipped with a deluxe interior, crammed with a multitude of extras and as much chrome detailing as possible. This was also the car of choice for Jim Rockford of the Rockford Files. Pontiac's first endeavour at improving the Esprit was debuted at the Chicago Auto Show in February 1976. It was called the Bluebird and officially branded as the Esprit luxury appearance package. The car proved to be such a hit with consumers that Pontiac announced in May 1976 a production version would be released for the 1977 model year. As a side note, another classic Firebird debuted at the same show. It was Pontiac's 50th anniversary limited edition Trans Am that would go on to become famous as Bandit's Ride in Smoking the Bandit. However, there was one issue. The Bluebird Body Company of Georgia, known for for building school buses had trademarked the name Bluebird for automotive use. They objected to another company using Bluebird on their vehicles and were concerned that customers might confuse a Pontiac Firebird with a Bluebird school bus. So to avoid any potential conflict, Pontiac renamed this special edition the Skybird. When the Skybird debuted in 1977 under RPO code W60, it featured a number of unique elements with its colour scheme standing out the most. This was also the first time an appearance package was applied to the Esprit. The Skybird's top colour was Lombard Blue, colour code 21, and borrowed from the Astra, Pontiac's version of Chevy's Vega, and a colour not used on any other Firebirds. The lower colour was even more unique, with an obscure paint code in 1977, but was listed in 1978 as paint code 58. Despite this change, the colour is the same for both years. It had a two-tone blue border, outlining the lower accent colour and the tail panel. For these design cues, Pontiac drew on its Firebird Formula appearance package, RPO code W50. The Skybird featured blue pinstripes, positioned similarly to those on the Trans Am Special Edition, but without the two stripes running over the roof and down the centre of the trunk. Its decals were distinctive, marking a departure from the usual Firebird styling, with two-tone bird details and a Skybird script. Skybird emblems were on both sail panels, with regular red Pontiac emblems on the nose. Some Skybirds even received the Skybird script above the driver's side headlights. Skybirds could be ordered with or without a rear spoiler, leading to different decal placements. On models without the spoiler, the Skybird script was centred on the trunk, with a chrome Pontiac emblem on the passenger side. For spoiler equipped cars, the bird graphic was centralised. The Skybird script was positioned on the right side with a light blue Pontiac integrated into the stripe underneath. This design was similar to the blue formula stripe but featured different colours. The grills were another unique feature exclusive to the Firebird. It may not be obvious but the grills are actually two-tone blue, incorporating both Skybird colours. The mesh part of the grill was the same colour as the lower accent colour and the insert was body coloured, mirroring the gold and black grills used on special edition Trans Ams. The rear tail lamp bezels were also painted Lombard blue and to complete the look the door handles were colour coded blue, maintaining a cohesive and stylish appearance. The now famous snowflake wheels code YJ8 also debuted in 1977, replacing the polycast honeycomb wheels of 1971 to 1976. Made of aluminium, the snowflake 
plate were standard on the Trans Am Special Edition and the Skybird. The Skybird's wheels were color coded Lombard Blue, color code 21. However, their center caps were regular colored red emblems. The choice of engines for the 1977 Esprit and therefore Skybirds was initially the Buick LD7 231 3.8 litre two barrel V6, which had replaced the Chevy L22 250 4.1 litre straight six, the Pontiac L27 301 4.9 litre two barrel V8, or the Pontiac L76 350 5.7 litre four barrel V8. However, some 1977 Skybirds were built with the Oldsmobile L34 350s instead of the Pontiac 350s for use in California and in high altitude areas. Later in the year, around the start of June, the 301 was replaced by the Chevy LG3 305 5 litre 2 barrel V8. Initially, Skybirds came with the wood grain instrument panels. However, later in production, the wood grain was replaced with an engine turned aluminium dash bezel as used on the Trans Am but was coloured blue. This occurred late in 1977. Unfortunately, there is no official documentation to confirm the exact timing. Interiors were available in either blue doe skin vinyl code 24N or Lombardi cloth code 24B. Like most 1977 Pontiacs, the Skybird's interior followed a two-tone scheme with only red and black interiors being exceptions. In the blue interior, the dash steering column console, kick panels, carpet, lower seat belt reel and rear package shelf were in a darker blue while the rest of the interior used a lighter blue. Colour match seat belts, typically an option on other models, were standard as part of the Skybird package. Oddly enough, blue standard interiors weren't available on any other Firebird model at that time. While this would not have affected Skybirds, it is strange that a blue option wasn't offered in a standard trim given that all other colours were available. The interior of the 1977 Skybird featured another unique detail a blue formula steering wheel with silver spokes. At the time, all other cars with formula steering wheels used black, even the 1977 Trans Ames, regardless of interior colour. By mid-1977, the Skybird appeared to be gaining in popularity and plans were well underway for a second version. And in February of that year, the Redbird concept car was showcased at the 1977 Chicago Auto Show. In December 1977, Pontiac sent this picture to its dealer while also announcing that the iconic Bandit Trans Am would be succeeded by a gold special edition code Y88 and the Skybird would be replaced by the Redbird. Production of the Redbird was planned to commence around February the 1st, 1978. The production total for 1977 Skybirds was 5,692 units. As the Skybird entered its second year of production in 1978, Pontiac seemed very satisfied with it. Their 1978 brochures and promotional materials featured extensive advertisements for this model to identify a 1978 Firebird from its nearly identical 77 sibling. Look at the grill. The 1978 grill design was a diagonal cross hatch, replacing the honeycomb design of 1977. Also, Firebirds with a custom interior had square sections in the backrests of their seats, where all 77s had a round horse collar shape. The exterior of the Skybird remained pretty much unchanged for 1978 except its 78 grills. The colours were the same but bizarrely Pontiac gave another colour the number code 21 which was in fact Dresden Blue for that year and so Lombard Blue was moved to colour code 30. The sail panel, trunk lid or spoiler if equipped were adorned by a blue bird in pinstripe style. Thin two-tone blue striping separated the upper and lower two-tone colours with regular red Pontiac emblems on the nose. The front grills were again Again, accented with blue highlights. The Lombard blue snowflake wheels were used again, as were the colour coded door handles. Pontiac had planned to roll out Fisher T tops during the 1978 model year, but they were unfortunately delayed, and funnily enough, Hearst T tops were not allowed on the 1978 Skybird. There is, however, some suggestion that a few 78 Skybirds may have been manufactured with Fisher T tops. The engine choices for 1978 were revised quite a bit. The Pontiac 350 was out of 
of production and the old 350 wasn't used. All references state that the Pontiac 301s weren't used in any 1978 Firebirds. So the available spree engines were the Buick LD5 231, 3.8 litre, 2 barrel V6, the Chevy LG3 305 5 litre, 2 barrel and the Chevy LM1 350 5.7 litre, 4 barrel. This means that no Pontiac engines powered this Esprits or base Firebirds made in 1978 and almost all 1978 Esprits were equipped with Chevy V8s. The 1978 Firebirds boasted completely new interiors featuring updated seats and door panels. The colour options were also refreshed except for black and white. Whilst most 1977 interiors were two-tone, all 1978 interiors were designed to be monochromatic. The Skybird was once again available in both doeskin vinyl code 24N and Lombardi cloth code 24B. The steering wheel on a 78 Skybird should be darker than a dash, which doesn't look right but is entirely correct. The parts books show that the 1977 wheel was used again in 1978, but the 1978 interior was a different shade. The 78 cars also boasted engine turned blue aluminium dash bezels, similar to those found on the Trans Am, and featuring a standard red dash Firebird. The production totals for 1978 Skybirds was 3,838 units. Pontiac announced in sales information bulletin 78-28 that production of the Redbird appearance package RPO code W68 would begin in January 1978, replacing the Skybird. Since the Redbird was introduced mid-production year, there were no marketing materials, resulting in a lack of typical references to confirm accuracy. The Redbird's paint scheme was bold and more masculine, yet it managed to complement itself without clashing. The gold trim from the Special Edition Trans Ams was incorporated parade into a striking red and gold theme. The Red Bird's exterior featured a combination of upper and lower colour bands, again identical in size and shape to those of the Formula W50 appearance package, along with upper gold pinstriping like that of the Special Edition Trans Am. The factory directed dealers to use code 72, Roman Red, as the top colour. Roman Red wasn't used on any other 1978 Firebirds and continued the Skybird tradition. Pontiac also introduced a unique accent colour for the lower band called Red Bird Red, colour code 42. Red Birds featured gold pinstriping and a gold arrowhead emblem from the 1978 Trans Am Special Edition. While the stripe locations matched those of the Skybird, the design differed showcasing two gold stripes with Red Bird Red running through the middle. The Red Bird's decal package featured the same bird, a similar writing style and placement as the Skybird. However, unlike the Skybird's two-tone decals, the Red Bird used a single colour, gold, and the Red Bird text was placed on one line, whereas the Skybird text use two. Like the Skybird, you could get your Redbird with or without a rear spoiler. The overlaid Pontiac emblem was gone and the two versions of towel emblems were now one. Whether you had a spoiler or not, you got a cell panel decal in the middle. However, the gold pinstripes on the spoiler end pieces were flattened unlike the Skybird. Fisher T-tops became common on Redbirds, making a significant change from the 78 Skybirds. Additionally, the door handle colour was updated to match the new Top color. Snowflake wheels were again standard, and as with the Skybird, these were color coded red to match the car. The wheel emblems were red, which might seem odd given the gold trim, but red is the correct color. The 1978 Redbird got the same engine options as the 1978 Skybird. Standard with the Buick LD231 3.8 litre 2 barrel V6, and optional were the Chevy LG3 305 5 litre 2 barrel V8 and LM. M1 350 5.7 litre 4 barrel V8. Available interior options were carmine red Lombardi cloth code 19N or doeskin vinyl code 19V with gold accents. The application of gold items was the same as a Trans Am Special Edition. The steering wheel spokes, dash bezel and all bird emblems were all gold. Like the Skybird, the Redbird used a 
the unique steering wheel colour, but now it had the special spoke colour of gold, special edition Trans Am. The production totals for the 1978 Redbird were 3,140 units. The 1979 Firebird underwent its final facelift of the second generation, featuring new front and rear styling. The front end was updated with four square headlamps, each set in its own opening, and the radiator air intakes were now relocated to the lower bumper. The back end received a full length tail lamp treatment and the license plate was moved to the lower bumper. The Red Bird Special Edition also continued for 1979. For 1979, the Red Bird featured a Mayan Red Color Code 75 upper and Red Bird Red Color Code 42 lower, which again was not available on any other model. This meant that the 1978 and 79 Red Birds did not have the same upper color, making these the only models in this series to undergo a color change. Although the package was identical to 1978, the lower accent and striping was adapted to fit the new front and rear bumpers. The new nose and tail design introduced a natural separation line for these colors, which allowed the accent color to extend over the entire bumper, like the 1979 W50 Formula appearance package. The two colors were separated with gold pinstriping, which came to a point on the nose where the gold Pontiac emblem was placed. The Red Bird again came with color-coded door handles. Once again, the spoilers were optional and a sail panel decal was applied to the center of the spoiler or trunk lid. The spoilers were redesigned for 1979, leading to a slight difference in the Red Bird spoiler stripe compared to the 1978 model. The 1979 stripes maintained a constant width, unlike the 78 version, which was flattened at the spoiler ends. This 1979 Red Bird brochure shows the pinstripes surrounding all four windows and running down a hood to the arrowhead emblem. The new tail lights didn't leave anything on the back to paint, so the contrasting tail panel was gone. However, the Redbird adopted a special edition's gold accented grille. The good news was Pontiac power was back in Redbirds. The low and high price V8s for 1979 were both Pontiac 301s. These were the L27 301 4.9 litre 2 barrel and the L37 301 4.9 litre 4 barrel, which most 79 Redbirds got. However, the standard option was still the Buick LD5 231 3.8 litre 2 barrel V6. In 1979, the engine options were quite unique. The Chevy 305 was used specifically for California, while the 4 barrel Chevy 350 was designed for high altitude areas. And if you have a 1979 Redbird with a 350 engine, you own a rare and more powerful version compared to those with the 301 engines. For the first First time the Redbirds engine choices slightly overlapped with the Trans Ams. The top engine for this Brie, a 301 4 barrel, was available as a delete option on the Trans Am, and in fact, over 13,000 Trans Ams were built with this configuration. For 1979, the interior Lombardi cloth seats were changed to a new insert material called Hobnail, code 19B. The new material featured interior matching Hobnail dots protruding from a darker background and adding more texture to the seats. This proved an extremely popular interior choice. Doe skin vinyl code 19V was also still available. The interior features also included a red formula steering wheel with gold spokes, a gold engine turned instrument panel with gold interior emblems on the steering wheel and shift knob. The production totals for 1979 Redbirds were 4,248 units. Identifying a 79 Firebird from its predecessors is easy but the 79 to 81 versions are almost identical. For standard interior equipped cars, you can tell by the vertical ribs at the upper section of the seat that were smooth in 80 to 81. A subtle detail on the dash was the turn signal lamps. They were changed from arrows to circles. And new for 1980 was a yellow bird, RPO code W73, which would become the third and final color scheme for the Esprit luxury appearance package. Pontiac once again selected unique colors for the yellow Bird. They were not used on any other Firebirds. The Pontiac shop manual even labels them as yellow bird only, indicating that these colours were exclusive to this model. The top colour was yellow bird yellow, colour code 56, and the accent colour was accent yellow, colour code 37. The yellow bird's decals were almost identical to the 1979 Redbirds. Both used gold accents and all location
variations of stripes were the same. Like the red bird, the yellow bird had a sail panel bird on its tail, whether or not you chose a spoiler. There are also gold Pontiac V emblems front and rear, and again it had colour coded door handles. The yellow bird's most notable feature was its tail lights. It utilised Trans Am tail lights that displayed no red when unlit, and each rib had a yellow horizontal accent stripe. Pontiac had figured out that colour coordinated wheels were great styling. Body coloured Rally 2 wheels had already been a popular option on yellow Firebirds, including those on the yellow Formula W50 appearance package. Pontiac realised that matching the wheels to the car's paint, especially on yellow models, created a bold, eye-catching style. So in 1980, yellow snowflake wheels were introduced for the first time, and this colour coordination became a standout feature of the yellow bird, like the yellow Formula W50 appearance package. The yellow bird was also given gold wheel emblems, like the Trans Am Special Edition. The 1980 Firebirds saw minimal mechanical changes from 1979. Engine options were the Pontiac L37 301 4.9 litre 4 barrel V8, a common choice for the Yellow Bird. The LS5 301 4.9 litre 2 barrel V8 was replaced by an even smaller version of itself, the LS5 265 4.3 litre 2 barrel V8. The Buick LD5 231 3.8 litre 2 barrel V6 remained a standard option, while the Chevy LG3 305 5 litre 2 barrel was available for use in California. In 1980, the only available transmission option was the MX1 3 speed turbo hydromatic automatic transmission. For 1980, Pontiac changed their practice of colour coordinated interiors as used in the Skybird and Redbird. Instead, the Yellow Bird featured a Camel Tan Code 64B interior, a popular colour from 1978 to 1980. This interior, like Carmine Red of the Red Bird, was a single colour throughout. Doe skin vinyl code 64N was also an option. The Yellow Bird also continued to incorporate gold accents from the Trans Am Special Edition, including a new engine turned gold shift plate. The Yellow Bird was the first in a series to share its steering wheel with other models. By this time, it was common for Special Edition Trans Ams to feature tan steering wheels with gold spokes, a design also used on all 1978 Special Edition Trans Ams. Like the black special edition, the gold spokes on the steering wheel were replaced with black spokes, effective November 20th, 1979, but the gold engine turned dash remained. If you have a 1980 Yellow Bird with an original gold spoke formula steering wheel, you have the rarest of the breed. All interior emblems were also gold, including the steering wheel emblem and shift knob. Apparently, no four-speed transmissions were available on any 1985 Firebirds, meaning all yellow birds came with automatic transmissions. The exact number of yellow birds produced isn't well documented, but it's estimated at around 10 to 15 percent of the 17,277 total Esprits made in 1980. This makes the yellow bird one of the rarer special editions. These Esprit appearance packages had a distinctive feminine design. While many men bought these cars and even more own them today, it's hard to deny that the decals have a definite feminine touch. Pontiac was actively targeting this model towards female car enthusiasts and interestingly cars are rarely marketed specifically to women and this was one of the very few times it happened. The only other notable examples were Dodge's La Femme of 1955 and 1956 which was marketed as a fashion accessory and in 1969 Chrysler had their mod top upholstery option. There's no question that the Pontiac Color Bird Esprits had a significant impact on the automotive world during their production. These models, the Skybird, Redbird, and Yellow Bird, introduced unique and vibrant color schemes that set them apart from other Pontiacs and Firebirds. Each model featured distinct design elements and exclusive colors. These special editions not only showcased Pontiac's creativity and attention to detail, but also became highly sought after by collectors and enthusiasts. The Color Bird series highlighted Pontiac's ability to blend performance and distinctive styling and so leaving a lasting legacy in the muscle car world.